name is Dave Andercheck. I'm the owner of Jado Construction, Platinum Homes Plus, uh, Rental Consulting by Dave Andercheck, and uh, and I also am the mayor of Delisle. So I'm involved in many things in our industry as well as community involvement, and I'm moving communities forward. When you start a business, and I can talk from experience, you have a vision. Okay, what's your vision? To create a business, generate revenue and do this for the rest of your life. So when you put the whole package together, you have to have some insight. You have to have a vision, and when you put the vision together, does it involve buildings? What is your target market? So when you get into the market that you're going into, it generates your revenue. So you have to get involved completely from day one to set your business up, and then you can move forward. Whether you're gonna be buying a new building, whether you're gonna be renovating an existing building, you have to start with the vision. As a general contractor, okay, when people ask us to come in and do a report or do an assessment on a building, and whether it be a restaurant or whether it be just a, a lease space that you want to sell retail products out of, or whether it just be like my business to do to an office renovation, you have to think of the future, okay? What you have intended for today is not necessarily what your business is going to take you to in a year from now. So what kind of questions should you ask a general contractor? You should ask a general contractor for his thought, okay? You have ideas and you want to put them in place. So when you ask a general contractor for his thoughts, a lot of contractors will disagree and say, I need drawings. A contractor has to be able to work with you on your vision to set the proper templates so that you can proceed further down the road with your life and your vision within the company. Working with a general contractor, okay, we bring projects to the table. So it's going to include drawings, it's going to include engineering, it's going to include mechanical, it's going to include electrical. If there's a, a code evaluation that's got to be done, then we have to set this all up. That's part of being a general contractor. They should be able to lay everything right on the table for you as a proposed client. If you want to be your own general contractor, it's up to you to do all the stuff that a general contractor does. You have to be able to coordinate that project. You have to have that vision to say, when are we going to be ready and open for business? That's a key to this being your own general contractor, is you have to organize this yourself. You can go and you might save on materials. You might save on subcontractors. But then again, you probably won't because subcontractors and suppliers give general contractors a different rate than they do if you're paying public. Okay, you'll save on the overhead and the profit at the end of the job, but the time frame that you put into that, you may not save nothing. It may cost you more in time because you have to take your time to organize all this. If you're your own general contractor, okay, and if something fails on that project, okay, uh, you have to deal with it, okay? If somebody gets hurt in the project and they're not covered by uh, compensation, you are actually liable for this. So you have to look at all that side. If there's a fire in your job, if there's a water main break, if there's anything, if the subs do not have the proper insurance, you are actually classified as a general contractor, so you have to be ready in instances like that. That's what we have to pay for with our insurance premiums mm -hmm. that we pay, you know, sometimes it's a great amount of money, but in the same token, you have to accept all responsibilities that we as general contractors accept. To get a fair quote is almost impossible. Okay, and then uh, we realize that the banks want money. They want to know how much it's going to cost. Okay, so that they can insert it as part of their allowance, but people have to realize that if you have a vision okay and say the building is x number of dollars okay but you want to do a renovation on the inside you should be able to hire an independent to come in and say well you have to do this and have to do this and have to do this okay if it's a big project well, that's what the engineers get paid for okay uh, you can hire an engineer they can set the, the code analysis they can tell you what you have to upgrade if it's fire suppression if you're getting to that size of a building if it's a small building or if it's a home then you should be able to hire somebody to come in and say Allow this, allow this, allow this, and that would be sufficient to see if you want to spend the money. Because if you don't want to spend the money, then somebody else behind the scenes is cost them money to provide that quote. And that's kind of usually why you have issues, getting quotes from people for finances. But as an entrepreneur, you know the building's gonna cost you this much money. 
you have to be able to say, okay, how much do I want to spend on the inside? Worst case scenario. So you have to have a number in your head, okay? Whether it would be even a home renovation. If it's an addition, uh, you have to have a number. You have to have a number that the bank says that you might qualify for so that the contractor knows what he has to work with. People ask all the time, okay? What do I need to change to save money? So when we get asked that, we just say, well, you know what, if you want to rip, if it's an existing commercial place or an existing home, if you want to rip your kitchen out, go ahead. Okay, if you want to rip the floors out, go ahead. And we get into the walls, okay, you want to remove the drywall, that's fine, but you can't remove the walls. So there's always cleanup to do on a job site. Okay, the third reason is painting. We get asked all the time, can we do our own painting? Okay, if you do your own painting, that's the final result. That's exactly what people see when they walk in the door. And if it's a retail store, they just want to see what's being sold. So it depends what your market is. Mm -hmm. So that's where you save your money is based on the products. Mm -hmm.